Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm coming to you live from the new house um, and I am talking to you today about the Dreamy Bot D10 Plus automatic robotic vacuum and mop. We got it from Dreamy Tech and this is what it looks like. So it is a um, automatic vacuum cleaner and mop but it's also got the dumpster so it's like a 45 days no touch like set and forget cleaning system so you would literally um set it program it to schedule so we've got it scheduled to go off twice a day and then um it will automatically dump out whatever it's collected and um, you can set it each and every time or every other time um however often you like to then empty itself into the dust bag which is in here um, and the dust bag that is in here is 2.5 litres, so it can contain quite an amount. Um, we've got it set so that every time it does a cleaning cycle, it will go and dump whatever it's collected, obviously, because we do have four hairy pets and a toddler. But what I thought would be really interesting is to really put this vacuum cleaner to the test, especially for us with a household of pets and toddlers and a baby on the way. Um, we're going to test it with... What I've got here is a bundle of Teddy's hair that I've just freshly collected from this sleeping giant and also a bowl of Cocoa Pops, which is Mia's favourite cereal. So I'm going to place these on the floor and then I'm going to show you it in use and talk you through some of its key functions. Um, but yeah, we're going to see how it can handle and stand up to the pet hair and also some cereal spilt on the floor. Um, it is a mop as well, so I'm going to come on to talk to you about that function. It does work off of voice support as well, so you can use it with um, Alexa or Google Assistant. We don't actually have either in our house, so we just use the app to control this, which is more than enough for us. You can control everything through the app, you know, set your cleaning schedules, your no-go zones, your virtual walls. Um, you can even add up to three maps, so I can have an upstairs map and a downstairs map, or if you had three floors, you could, it has the ability to store up to three maps on it. Um, but it does clean in efficient ways. So it builds a precision map using LiDAR navigation um, and it cleans in rows to ensure there are no spots missed. And I'll show you that when we come on to um, it in use. You'll see it within the app where it kind of like zigzags across the floor. It does the outskirts and then it zigzags across. Milo's coming to check everything out. Um, and it's the most powerful robotic vacuum cleaner we've ever tested. So this has got a 4,000 PA suction power. So enough talking anyway guys, let's get into the virtual test and the video. I just have to make sure that this monster doesn't try and hoover up the cereal himself because it is a chocolate flavoured cereal, so that's a no-go. Um, but he will try and get it before the hoover does, I'm sure. So I'm going to place some hair and some cocoa pops around and we'll get this in use and then I'll start talking you through some of the features. So guys, while this is navigating the obstacle, um, I thought I'd just show you the app. So you can see what I mean here, where I said it will do the perimeter and then it will zig zag across the floor. Um, so that's where it's gone and cleaned. And this is some of the advanced settings. So you can see I've got it set to turbo suction for the hoover. I've also got the water volume set and set to medium, but you can push it up to high to do like an advanced deep mopping type cleaning. Um, so you can choose like what level you want to do it at um, and you can set those for different schedules. And then um, you can also go into the settings and pick schedules in. So I've got it set for 10am every day for downstairs. Um, 
And the bit that is completely different to any other uh, robotic vacuum we've ever used is it's got a child lock. So if you've got a toddler like me who likes to press buttons, this disables all the buttons on the robot. So it can only be used and controlled by the app, which is, I cannot explain how much of a godsend that is with Mia. And then you can go through and look at like, your cleaning history, when it's been working, how often it's been going, if you want to check up. So guys, I've just put Mia down to bed for the night and I'm now in her playroom with Teddy. It's his favourite place. Um, and I'm just going to do a bit of a clean up in here. So as I said before, I wouldn't use a very robotic vacuum cleaner in here just because there's too many fiddly bits on the floor. Um, there's always stuff that she's leaved lying around. So I will just use a handheld vacuum, which we also use Dreamy Tech. We've got the T30 vacuum cleaner it's got on there. But I would use a handheld vacuum on staircases. Um, we've got quite a few different levels in this house with lots of like little mini two or three steps throughout. So I'll use it on that. <laughs> Guys, I'm laughing because I can see Shane in the background. He can see that I'm using his favourite vacuum cleaner and he wants to be involved in this. So I'm going to cut out of the nursery now and I'm going to go and cut over to Shane for this brief interlude about the T30. So we've got this new Hoover, the Dreamy Tech T30. And I don't usually do most of the cleaning, but I find this one a pretty cool gadget. Got these accessories with it. And one that I really like in particular is a little squiggly nozzle. So we've got this. And I find it ingenious. Ooh. I can do this and clean up on top of things, which is very clever, I think. But even better than that, watch this. I don't know why no, no one's ever thought about this before. Can you see this? Yep. Look at this. Going into our fridge storage. So. Still waiting for a fridge. If you're cleaning down in a dark area, it lights it up. So you can see what you're doing and what you've cleaned. And another cool feature of this, it's got an auto mode on it so that when you're actually hoovering. Did you see that? It went more powerful because it sends those more dust in the corner. So it can adjust the dust settings, the um, vacuum set of power. Yeah, there you go. It takes a bit of dust. So on here, it's got the, the dust level. See, it spiked there. That's clever, that. It shows you that it was doing the, the lower suction, then it spiked for a bit of dust that hit there. Well, it's got the battery or eco mode that's where it's um saving battery medium suction so you can put it in manually in, in what you want the turbo let's listen to this oh, look at that tornado oh. yeah teddy uh and what else we got so there are the suction modes oh another cool feature if you've got a lazy finger if you hold this i'll speak louder again and then press this lock button. Look at that. Trigger free cleaning. You don't have to hold it anymore. That's a really clever idea and just press that again to stop it. But yeah, that nozzle's cool with the light. And then these accessories you get with it. This is all I would use the most. Shane does all the hard to reach cleaning. I just do the basic floor. That's a nice, nice length on it as well. Sometimes you get short ones. But the way it bends, it's got the bend nozzle, yeah? So you can just pivot it under any furniture so that you, you want do to. This, like, drifting. Yeah. There's a little battle going on over here, you guys. You tell him, Phil. Excuse me. When you're trying to film and the children want to misbehave. Ha <laughs> Out of your reach now. He's safe now. Okay, back to the vacuum cleaner. Yeah, so I took the attachment off and another easy feature, this yeah. button here. I'm not gonna do it, it'll fall all over my floor, but if you push that, it pops open, just tip it upside down, empty, and that's it. But I yeah. like that because then it's hands-free when you have to actually get all the dust out. Yeah, so actually you could open a bin with one hand because that's always hard and you can just press that with yep. the other. I guess if you've got It'll a big hand like, like me, you can do that. Or you put your knee on it and this gymnastics. <laughs> Stuff going on in the background. But I like this printing. one. That's your favourite one, is it? Yeah, because I've never seen that before. 
It always handy for getting on top of the kitchen cupboards. Yeah, no, it's because it extends as well. And then you can do that. Because how else, with a, with a straight nozzle, how are you going to do that? <laughs> so, yeah, that's good that you can do that. Look, like this. See? Mm-hmm. Whereas before, if that was rigid, you couldn't. Shane gets quite OCD on cleaning, you guys. Whereas, if you fit it up there. Guys, I just forgot, I just found this attachment that I left on the stairs from when I took the stairs earlier. So you've got a little nice mini brush roller as well for the staircase. That's why you did So that's the T30 anyway, guys, and Shane is very enthusiastic about that. But I'm going to go back to the D10 Plus, the um, robotic vacuum cleaner, and show you the mop function now. Um, I'm going to, now that we've cleaned all the floors, the kitchen floors, we're going to mop it. Okay, so I've just filled up the mop plate with some water. And we're going to attach this over onto the hoover now and give it a go. So um, I just turned the hoover over to insert the mop plate and I thought it'd be good to just show you the brush roll from, do you remember I just tested it with Cocoa Pop, Cereal and hair. So you can see a tiny little bit of hair there, but overall the brush roll looks very, very clean. Just twist it all the way around so you can see that. And then the mop just clicks on down here at the bottom, like so. Yes, it has been installed. Let's go. Begin Start mopping. Wait. So guys, it's just vacuumed the whole kitchen and now it's on mopping, um, avoiding hazards <laughs> or obstacles. That would be Nika. <laughs> Hello. Oh, you're coming over here instead. You would move after it's just finished cleaning your area and avoided you. But yeah, you can see the streaks that it's leaving behind now on the floor. So I just paused it before we dock and I thought I'd just show you the dirt that's been collected during that mop and clean. So that's all in there and that's what's about to get emptied. And then, back in. Flip it over and have a look at that mop pad. Oh. So it wasn't the cleanest to begin with, but you can see there. I need two hands to take it off, but this bit can just be removed and we'll put in the washing machine. And then you can obviously top this up again with more water. And yeah, still got a clean brush roll. Right, so I'm going to let it dock now and you'll show you how it empties into here. And then I'll show you the dust, um, sorry, the waste collection afterwards I'll show you this Start charging. Start auto empty. Okay. Now it's charging. It's emptied itself into here and this is now empty, ready for the next clean. And I've just had a notification on my phone to tell me to take the mop plate off because mopping has been completed. So I've got to do that before I send it to Doc. So I'll do that now. So guys, that is our new Dreamy Bot D10 Plus vacuum cleaner. I'm gonna leave a link in the description box below with everything that you need. I'll also flash it up on here on the screen for you. But yeah, that is our new vacuum cleaner that is taking care of downstairs of our house. I hope you all enjoyed the video and we'll see you all soon. Bye, Teddy. Say bye. Bye, everyone.